Yo, what's up Dons? Today, we're doing something that was even difficult for me to do the very first time, and that's setting up a 5M server on our home PC. We'll be using Heidi SQL to access our database, MariaDB to save a database, and then finally TX Admin to set up a whole server. The particular flavour of server that we're doing today will be QB Core, but if enough of you guys are interested, we can do an ESX one as well, just let me know down in the comments. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be giving you my three script recommendations and how to install them to get you started on your server journey. Let's get started. First off, we want to head over to MariaDB and download our database. The link will be down in the description. Uh, this will be the page that you'll land on. You just want to head straight down to the download tab and then you want to click on download. Once that's downloaded, we want to install our database. So let's click through here. We accept the license agreement and all the other default settings should be fine. Just remember though, if you do pick a password here, you need to remember it for later on. Right, and let's install it. Now while that's installing, let's head over to Heidi SQL and we'll start uh, installing it the way we're going to access our database. So I'm using a 64-bit PC, so this installer here will be fine. We'll download that. Alright, so that's downloaded, we'll install it now. Uh, we'll install this for all users. And again, all the default settings uh, are fine for this. Let's make sure our Maria database is finished. Alright. Database is set up, so we're finished uh, setting up Party SQL. Now, so I've already previously set up a user on here, but for your case, you'll head down to the new tab here, click new, and because we've downloaded Maria database, all these default settings will be fine. This is the local host route to your computer. Um, this is the DLL for our database. Um, if you chose a password, you'll need to enter it in here. But otherwise, all these default settings should be fine. We should be able to open it up and connect. But I've already got one of these set up and named, so we'll delete unnamed and we'll go into Don's dev. But here is our database. So we've got the database, we've got a way to access it, but now all we need is a server to go with it. So we're going to be using the TX admin auto installer method to set up your server, as it's just the easiest per framework, but I can show you other methods in future if anyone asks for it. First, we create the folder to host our FX server files. We go into where we're going to have the server file saved and we create a folder named artifacts. Now we go to the 5M build website and we download the latest recommended build, which at this point in time is 5848. And this will download a little server zip file for you. Now once that's fully downloaded, we actually want to extract that into the folder we just created inside our future server files. We'll extract this here. Now once that's done running, we can simply just run the FX server exe file that pops up in here, just like so. Now one last thing that you'll need to do is get your key uh, from Keymaster. Now you can generate three keys per person, and I'll have the link uh, for both the 5M Builds website and Keymaster in the description so you guys can go get your keys and the server build. So here we'll be linking our C my CFX account to this server which in my case is uh, Don Julio. So I'll go through all the prompts, take me uh, through to, to create a new password. That's right, let's use the password that we've already used for this website. Agree to the terms and conditions, and let's create a master account. Now, this is pretty awesome. It's just gonna be giving us a uh, an auto prompt straight through everything we wanna name the whole server. So let's go through. Don's dev QB core. The deployment type, this is where we pick the framework we're going to use. So uh, today we're using QB core. So um, whoop, we want to be picking uh, QB core from the popular server recipes. Now we want to change the path because it's not like that. It actually has an apostrophe. Perfect. Now we run the recipe deployer. Now this is where our key comes in handy. There we go there. Should all be perfect. Just run recipe and go ahead. Beautiful. Now when this is done, this will be your server set up. All you have to do then is set up your server config um, and that'll be just adding uh, certain changes, but this should auto-populate 
your user to get admin permissions immediately on your test server and it should also auto populate your uh, root name for your database SQL so you won't actually need to put it in there manually but if you do have any errors I will have a link in the description with uh, some examples of what your SQL key should look like. Uh, beauty, there's our server files. Now in here you can add any of the changes that you want to make for your server but that should be it, we can save and run the server. So essentially at the start of every server it builds four different apps, I believe it's screenshot basic chat, uh, I don't know what the other two are, maybe it's just screenshot basic, uh, screenshot basic and chat, but it uses yarn to build those and once that's done we give the server another restart and it should be good to go. Alright on to my three script recommendations to get you guys started on your server journey. So the first of the three scripts that I recommend is Don Drury, which is a shameless self-plug, but it's a great criminal activity to get you started, and its readme is a little bit more in-depth, so it's also great to get you critically thinking. So the first thing we're going to do is look through the dependencies, and when we install a QB framework server, we get core, we get target off the bat, but we need to uh, download PSUI. So we go to our next tab, we have PSUI there. So you simply just want to go up to the code, little green drop down here, and then we're going to download the zip file from here. And once that's downloaded, you want to go to your downloads and unzip that folder into uh, a folder on your server files. And for me personally, I have a folder named add-ons and then the creator of the add-ons is the, the parent folder. But if you do have folders and you put scripts inside of those folders, you're going to make sure that those folders are insured in the server config. Q example up on the screen of the server config. Ooh. So going on through the readme, we get to the next important feature, which is the multiple MLOs, which we're going to be installing gigs, jewel stores, the extra two MLOs, which is one is up in Polito, and the other one is in Grapeseed. So we want to go over to the link in the readme uh, to gigs jewel store, and we want to download the free heist RA. Now when that's downloaded, we want to go open it up from our downloads. Here it is just here. Go to our server files. And I'll be placing this into default maps. So continuing on through the readme, we have to add a file from uh, Don Jewelry, and we also have to change the FX manifest of Gig's Jewel Heist. So let's go and do that now. So we're going to go into Don, where I've already installed Don Jewelry. I'm going to pull out the interior proxies.meta file, Control X that, and we're going to go back into default maps where we placed Gig's uh, Jewel Free Heist. It's going to be wherever you placed it, but if you're copying along, you'll be in default maps as well. We just want to paste that into here. That file's in there. And now we want to edit the uh, FX manifest. So you just want to open that with your code editor. I personally use VS Code. And if we go back to the readme, we'll just copy and paste this. All right, now we need to add some things to QB Police Job, which is the extra camera IDs, which correlate to the stores up in Polito and Grapeseed. So we'll copy that, and then we'll go open up uh, QB Police Job. Now this will be just inside your QB folder, and then QB Police Job. If I can find P. All right, and it'll be in the config, we open up the config, and we just go to the bottom of the list of camera IDs, which is just here. Make sure this looks neat. Perfect. All right, next. So now we get to the actual config of the script, which is the open and close hours, but I, I like these at default, we'll leave that. Um, we have to make sure we go through and set the config for having more than one store. Um, and wh what dispatch we'll be using. Now we'll be using PS Dispatch, so I'm going to leave PS checked as PS in the config. Now there's one last important thing before we get to the config, which is the door locks. We go down to two in the readme, which is where the door configs are, and we need to go create a file called uh, whatever we want to name it inside QB door lock configs. So we're going to go into QB, down to QB door lock configs, make a new file. And we can name this whatever you want to name it, but uh, me personally, I'm going to name it Jewelry Stores, just so I know what it is. Open that up. Paste. Save. And away we go. 
So one of the things we need to do when we install Don Jewelry is we need to make sure we go in and we delete the base QB Jewelry, otherwise there's going to be errors. So let's go find the base QB Jewelry and we'll delete it. Now I believe that's all, all the important config done for Don Jewelry. So we can move on to the second script uh, that I'm going to recommend today, which is, drum roll please, MZ Skills. Now we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to hit the green button for the drop down, download the zip, and we're going to unzip the file to wherever we want inside our server folder. I just make sure that the folder this is inside of is ensured in the server config. Um, now there's no important setup for this, it's just download and away you go. Um, and because we've downloaded this, uh, this is actually an optional dependency of Don Jewelry. So we can go to Don Jewelry's config and then ensure that MZ Skills is enabled. All right, make sure it's enabled, which is true. The skills should be at the start. Perfect. So when we install MZ Skills, we have to also make sure we run the SQL inside the folder. MZ Skills saves data to our database, and thank God we have a hardy SQL to access it. We just double click it and Hardy SQL should have been made your default uh, resource to open SQL files. And if it hasn't been, you can just change that by doing a right click and then opening with uh, Hardy SQL by choosing another app on your PC. We're going to open up our database. And we see it's already loaded up in here. We just want to click the blue button or press F9 on the keyboard and SQL, execute the SQL query. Now we refresh, check that it's been added to the players table and we should have skills just there. Beautiful. Now that was pretty easy. Now I go on to the third and final script I'm going to recommend for you guys today which is PS Dispatch. Which is an awesome uh, dispatch script which PS offer for free. Uh, I believe all their scripts are free and uh, it's a good thing to get you started with trying to change and manipulate the base QB resources. Because this is going to require you to go through and see what alerts are triggered and where the alerts are triggered in the base QB resources and then change them with PS Dispatch. Now, if you guys want a video on how to edit and change and where to change different scripts, you could always request that down in the comments and let me know if you guys are keen for that. But otherwise, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. All right, so same as before, we want to hit the green drop down. We want to download the zip and we go and put this in a folder we've created for it before. Like I said, I've got mine in an add-ons folder and I can show you the server config I have. Now this script doesn't actually require much setup, but an important thing to do when you install any script is to go and look at the config. Now, one of the most important things of PS Dispatch is to check whether or not debug is turned on. And if debug is turned on, then you are going to receive alerts if you are a police officer and you commit crimes, no matter what. So it's there so that people, when they're testing the script, can know. But if we're going to use this on a live server, we're going to want this to be false. Uh, but other than that, it should work. So let's start up the server and see if we broke it. So the easiest thing to do is go down to my jewelry store and give it a run because that script uses all three scripts that we have downloaded today. So we'll start with doing the thermite, which will test if PSUI is working and hopefully PS Dispatch if we get an alert. And you also get to see how much I suck at these thermite challenges. Or well, I might have gotten better. Yeah. I suck. Right, so we've got 10 skill to our highest reputation, fuse is blown, and we have a dispatch alert, beautiful. And that's it, thank you guys for watching, please drop a like if you found this video helped you, and if you have anything to add, or if you think I missed anything, make sure you drop a comment down below. Now, make sure you guys stay done, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.